Every person begins life as a single cell, called a zygote, formed by the union of the male sperm with the female egg during reproduction. As the sperm and the egg unite, the genetic materials of each are combined, providing the zygote with all the information necessary for transforming this single cell into the complex network of cells known as the human body. To better understand how this is possible, we first need to learn how cells function. Let's zoom into the zygote to take a better look. Like all cells in the human body, the zygote is surrounded by a fluid membrane. Embedded within the membrane are hundreds of different proteins. Proteins are large molecules that perform the cell's many functions. When the cell is ready to undergo cell division and create more cells, signaling molecules bind to the communication proteins on the cell's surface, setting off a series of chemical reactions and protein-protein interactions both outside and inside the cell. Through this chain of reactions, the signal to divide is transmitted by intercellular proteins through a fluid substance known as the cytoplasm until it reaches its final destination, the nucleus. Once the signal protein is in the nucleus, it attracts other proteins needed to build a large protein machine known as the transcription factor. Once completed, the transcription factor binds to the cell's genetic material, DNA. Encoded within the structure of DNA is the information necessary for building every protein required for cellular function. In this case, the protein instructions being copied are for a protein which functions during cell division. Once the necessary proteins are produced, the cell is able to divide. During cell division, the replicated DNA condenses to form an organized structure known as a chromosome. As the nuclear membrane dissolves, the chromosomes line up along the center of the cell and attach to spindle fibers that extend from the cell's centrioles. The centrioles begin to play a game of tug of war, breaking the chromosomes. Since the separated strands of DNA are identical, each new nuclei that forms contains an exact copy of the original DNA. By day four after fertilization, the single-celled zygote goes through rapid cell division to produce a multi-celled embryo. Over the next few months, this woman and the growing embryo inside her will undergo a rapid transformation.